Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly B2 and welcome back to another Z showcase video in which we talk about a lot of different Z moves and how we can use them whether it be competitively in battle or to our advantage when we're fighting against friends and just seeing a lot of cool stuff revolving around these Z moves. In this video we're going to be talking about the move Z Snatch which is actually a very interesting move to use if you time properly in the game and of course this video was brought to you by Swagmaster123456789100 where he did suggest on one of the videos that we should do Z Snatch. So we're going to do Z Snatch and uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into this video. So here we go. I got my 3DS up and I, I'm playing against my other self in another game right now. So we're going to just hit play with the same rules. We're going to pick our team right here. So on the opposite team, I, I'm i picking a Snorlax for a particular reason because we're going to use a Belly Drum on Snorlax, which is an effect move. And what basically what Snatch does is it grabs the effect of the other Pokemon so they can't use it. And then you use that effect on your Pokemon. But we're going to couple that with a Z move, which is Snatch. And of course, Snatch is a dark type Z move. So you're going to need the dark Z crystal in order to gain access to Z Snatch. So uh, let's get into this. We're picking that. We're picking the parties. We're picking the battles. Here we go. This is looking good. Communicating. Please stand by. Here we go. We're gonna fight myself from another dimension. Parallel universes confirmed in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Alrighty. Got the Snorlax, and we got our Persian, Alolan Persian. Wow, that's so weird fighting myself. All right, here we go. Let's get these shenanigans going. I'm challenged by Philly Beats You. Cool. There we go. We're going to throw out Persian over here. And on the other side, here comes out the Snorlax. The event Snorlax, actually. All right, so basically, here's what is going to happen. Snorlax is going to be using a belly drum. Uh, that's going to be the first move because we want to buff up these Snorlax on the other side. Now, what happens if we're using this in a competitive sense is you're going to have to predict if the opponent is going to use a status move and then use your Z Snatch and make sure your Persian outspeeds that other Pokemon in order to do this. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to do a Z Power Up and we're going to hit Z Snatch. That's going to be the first thing. So I set that on motion for our Persian. And our Snorlax is going to go right into Belly Drum. Now, of course, this can also work really well if you know an opponent is going to be using maybe a Swords Dance or a Dragon's Dance or a lot of other status moves. So here we go. Our Persian's boosted its speed sharply by using the Z Power. So right off the bat, by just using Z Snatch alone, you already boost up your speed by two. Your speed is already doubled. So there we go, our Snorlax tried to use Belly Jump, but he couldn't use it, so our Persian took it instead. So all in one shot, because we timed it properly, we got our speed up by two, and here we go, I'll pop open that Persian for you. We got our attack up all the way, times four attack, and our speed went up by two. So that is a really sick buff on Persian right now, which should be an easy, a relatively easy KO on this Snorlax. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna Night Slash the Snorlax, GG easy. Should be no problem. We'll we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll metronome on Snorlax or something. Oh, Snorlax did not go down. He is quite buffy. The Snorlax is going to use metronome. Started to make it hail. But yeah, guys, that's basically the the gist behind it. You're going to really have to predict your opponent what they're going to do. I mean, it's kind of obvious. If they throw some Garchomp on the field, then you can be like, oh, he's got a Swords Dance. I'm going to just go ahead and use my uh, Z Snatch so I can buff up my speed and buff up my my attack. But here's here's the other thing as well. Snatch can doesn't have to be coupled with the Z move all the time. That's just your preference if you do want that times two... Uh, speed, which is pretty nice because once you have that speed boost and you have that attack boost or whatever the boost is, the speed boost alone is good enough uh, to do a lot in terms of outspeeding a lot of competitive Pokemon uh, in the meta, especially on Persian. So that's uh, that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and open up our lovely, our lovely Cerebi. So I'm just going to pop open Cerebi here. And here we go. We are on the Cerebi website and 
Like we did mention, the user steals the effects of any attempts to use a healing or a stat changing move. In the case of what we did was Belly Drum. The in-depth effect is Snatch is a unique in that it will take the effects of certain moves used by the target and will apply them to the user. This means the user will get any boost or healing that the opponent intended to use upon itself. This move it can snatch are as follows. So we have all these amazing moves, that status moves that a lot of people Pokemon will use. We got Acid Armor, which I've seen used by a lot of Alolan mucks. Uh, we have Agility, Amnesia, Aqua Ring, Aromatherapy, like all these things. Even Conversion, even Conversion, uh, Cosmic Powder, uh, Cosmic Power, Growth, Double Team, Dragon Dance, Focus Energy, Lunar Dance. You could even copy Lunar Dance, but that's GG if you do do that. Uh, Power Trick, Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance is also nice. Shift Gear, Slack Off, Stockpile, Tailwind, and all these crazy things. Um, and here is the Z effects, like we said. We said the speed goes up by 2 when you do use it. So even if, let's just say you fail, you, you still manage to get your speed up by 2. So it's not a bad thing as well. But if you time it just right, like I said, oh my gosh. The rewards will be so nice because you get that times two speed and you can get one of the buffs from the other Pokemon um, when they're going to try to buff themselves up to in order to take you out. So that is a really, you gotta, gotta think ahead. It's all about predictions, my friends. And then we have a bunch of Pokemon that can learn this by leveling up. We see some dark Pokemon, Ghost, Psychic. We got some Psychic. We got a Heat more here. We also can learn it. We got Heart Raticate. So some Alolan forms here. Meowth as well can learn it. We got uh, Darmunka, Zoro, Zorak, Jujigan. So um, not as many Pokemon in the seven generation that you can teach. But if you are transferring from PokeBank, it you have you have a lot more Pokemon that you can teach it to. So if you teach them in the sixth generation, look at look at this list. It's a lot bigger in terms of the Pokemon that can learn this move. So there you go. You want to get Pokemon that learn this move that are different from the Gen Seven list? Go to the Gen Six game. And use the move tutor and you could uh, teach a lot more Pokemon this lovely Z Snatch or just the Snatch in general and then equip your Dark Crystal with it. But yeah, that's a lot of Pokemon if you transfer them through Pokebank. So Pokebank gives you access to more uh, Pokemon that can use the move. So yeah, I think that is uh, pretty much it guys. So just remember, predictions matter. And if you want to get certain Pokemon on it, go ahead, try it. It's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting. Let me know down in the comments below. Try it out and let me know the results. Were you able to outsmart your opponent? And also make sure to comment down below, especially what Z-Move you want me to feature next in the next video that we're going to showcase for another Z-Move. Um, again, smash that like button if you enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. My name is Philly Beats You, and check out these other videos over here. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.